hello students and welcome to easy net computers youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to solve some of the neco past practical questions please note it's mainly the practical past questions some of which the question i ask students to you know to carry out tasks using microsoft world at times microsoft excel at times access powerpoint corel draw Please follow me as we dive into the practical session. I believe you will enjoy it. Yes, welcome to the practical session. In this particular video, we'll be dealing with the NECO 2020 practical, the aspect that involves the use of Microsoft Excel to solve the problem. Please follow me. What we have on the screen presently is a NECO past question that involve the use of Microsoft Excel. And according to the instruction, it says, the following information shows the income, let me zoom it a bit, shows the income and expenditure for Koyemi, Julius and Sons for five days. The income from Monday to Friday are this, while the expenditure are this, okay? So what are we asked to do? It says, construct a spreadsheet that will contain the information provided above, indicating row 1 to 6, column A to E, okay? The first row should display the sequence. Replace the income with this. Complete the table using this formula. Okay, let's start. So the first thing we have to do is to open Microsoft Excel, which is, as usual, we click Start, All Programs, Microsoft Office, is Microsoft Excel. So the same version I have on my system here. So let's see. Construct a spreadsheet that would contain the information provided above, indicating this. First row should display the sequence. This, okay. So we ask in the first row should have weekdays, income, restitution, profit, and loss. Okay, let's do that. So what we we'll do is uh, open the Excel and I tie with this. Income expense and uh, profit loss. Okay, so that's what the instruction says that the first row should have this information. So we can do a little expansion where necessary. For instance, we can just expand this, expand this, and this. If you wish, okay, let's try to follow this. I want to say if you make it bold, but let's follow the instruction. So, the first way should display this. Replace the income with values of your choice ranging from 5,000 to 15,000. How many income do we have? This is a one, two, three, four, five, five income. So, and uh, the instruction says, okay, one, two, to six. So that row one is already used up. So the other one we're having with this, which means there we should write Monday. In Microsoft Excel, if you type Monday like this, to save yourself time, you can always come to this edge here. We call this the fill handle. If you click on that fill handle, you can drag it down. We got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that saves us time. Okay. Uh, it says replace the income with values of your choice, ranging from 5,000 to 15,000. So we we'll come back here again. Income from 5,000. Okay, let's put 5 and 6, then 8, then let's say 10, then 15, and the expenditure ranging from 3,000 to 10,000, respectively, from 3 to 10. Okay, 
So based on the income I typed here, I can always supply the expenses from 3 to 10. And I said this actually 3,000. Let's make this 4,000. Why this 5,000? And uh, say this 7,000. And let's put it at 10. Exactly 10,000. Okay. Complete the table using these formulas. Complete the table using this formula. Profit. In order to get the profit, the profit is income minus expenditure. So let's deal with that. I want to get the profit. This is my income minus the expenditure. It depends on which version of Microsoft Excel you are actually using and the version of uh, Windows you have. Like in my own case here, I'm using Windows 7. So if you really want to put that Naira sign, you can select all these figures together. You see where you have dollar, you just click. There's a more accounting format. Then from here, click this symbol and move down to letter N. You can see K, L, M, and N. You see. Aosa, Ibo, Yoruba, I can see Nigeria, Naira. Then. So I can choose which one I prefer. Then say OK. Then the Naira symbol will be applied. It is very, very important that you only apply the Naira symbol that way. Using the symbol, you are not to type it by yourself. The type it inside the scene, what you have typed as an alphabet and not number. So it's either you type the figure, leave it without putting any Naira sign at all, or you type it, then you select and apply Naira sign just this way I have done it. By default, it has two decimal places. Let me see whether we have decimal. Okay, there are no decimal here. So, we can remove this 0 .00 by clicking this button here that says decrease decimal. So, how do we have our fine profit? Instruction is that it says profit is income minus expenditure. Now, solving this problem does not mean we will not say Profit minus expense. It means we have to use the cell reference for each of those uh, cells to get our profit. So I'll click here. And in Microsoft Excel, all calculations must start with equal sign. That's what we should know. So I'm going to put equal sign. Then my income is in this cell. And the cell reference for this is B2. Cell reference for this is B2. And my expense, the cell reference for it is C2. So I'll simply say equals to, uh, if you don't understand my B2, this is the column with label B, row with label 2. That's what I mean. So I'm going to say B2 minus this, which is C2. In this case, enter. And that gives me my profit. Just like what I did the other time, you can always click this answer, bring your cursor or your mouse rather to this fill and do, and drag it down to get other answers. So, with that, we have gotten the profit. So, let's see the next instruction loss. Loss is going to expenditure minus income expenditure minus income to get the loss we said equals expenditure which is this minus the income the expenditure is uh, cell C2 in this case minus the income which is cell B2 then we drag it down and get the loss. But let's look at the instruction critically. It says, note, Thursday only should result in a loss. Thursday only should result in a loss. So how do we ensure Thursday is in, uh, result in a loss? It then means that the expense must be more than the income. So it means we have to modify the value that we have here, let me delete this. Modify the value that we have here. So for Thursday, this is my income 10,000 and the expense. Let's make it uh, 12,000. 
So if the expense is 12,000, automatically this has changed to negative, and that is uh, the loss. It's either I do the calculation again or I just copy the figure here. Let me copy the figure here down here by using this quick method. I say equals, and I'll put the cell reference for this, which is D5, so that that value is repeated here. Let's see the next instruction. State the formula used in obtaining the following corresponding result. Tuesday's profit, Friday's profit, total income, and the other one. In fact, the questions here, they are not even much. Because the whole practical thing that we are asked to do here ends at this point here, 32 months. It ends just somewhere here. Okay, how do we do that? It says, to Tuesday's profit. Tuesday's profit. So, I can come down somewhere here and say, uh, Solution Tuesday's profit and actually what we want or what they want us to be say to state the formula used. We are not to calculate the formula, but what is the formula that has been used for Tuesday's profit? What's profit? The profit is this minus this. That's the profit. So I can solve that problem by just saying equals is a B3 minus C3. B3 minus C3. But actually, if I press enter in this case, they're going to calculate it for me. But they want me to just show or write the formula that has been used. So there's a little trick I can use in Microsoft Excel, which is I can just put an apostrophe in front of this my write-up like this so the apostrophe means it will remain exactly the way i have typed it so tuesday's profit will be gotten using this formula let's bring this one in front drag it this way let's make it bold that's the formula then the next one says friday's profit just the same thing but referring to fridays so i said fridays Profit. Put a semicolon, and I say equals West Friday B six minus C six. That is the formula. The next one says what? Total income. Total income is this is my income. The total income should be what I have here. I'll come and say total income. So the profits to get to the income, I put my semicolon first. Sorry, that's apostrophe rather. I say semicolon. Apostrophe, apostrophe equals to sum. Then we can open bracket from this cell B2. Put a full column down to this cell B6. Then close the bracket. That is the formula that will get the total income for us. There was the next instruction. Total profit from Monday to Wednesday. What is the total profit from Monday to Wednesday? Which formula will you use? Now get to the total profit from Monday to Wednesday. Okay. You can come down here again and say total profits Monday dash Wednesday okay let me expand this box uh, my formula I'll start with that uh, apostrophe to show you the formula is equals to sum open bracket let's confirm that again from Monday to Wednesday so this is my total profit this is my profit column here from Monday to Wednesday this this cell B2, I mean D2 rather, column Wednesday here, which is D4. Close brackets. So 
so that's calculate the total profit from Monday to Wednesday. So these are the formulas I'm uh, going to use. Now the last part is highest expenditure. The highest expenditure. Which formula will you use that will show us the highest expenditure so far from Monday to Friday? Now where do we have expenditure? This is where we have the expenditure. So let me write somewhere and say highest expense expenditure what formula as usual I just want me to show you I put that uh, semicolon uh, as an apostrophe rather put the apostrophe the more start with equals equals then the function name we are going to use is max because it's the highest we use the function name max the open brackets this is where we have the profits the ix profit right from this cell d no is it profit okay is expenditure rather is expenditure so we are dealing with this column so from this column uh, this column this cell c c2 column uh, the last one which is c6 close my bracket enter that is a formula and from what we are saying on this page we all know that okay if this is my expenditure three thousand four five twelve ten the highest expenditure is actually that twelve thousand we all can see it it's a no-brainer it's twelve thousand let's confirm whether my answer is actually correct or not but look at the question which formula will you use to get the highest expenditure where from what you are seeing on the screen the highest position is 12 so let's confirm the formula is right i'm only going to come here and remove this uh apostrophe the enter automatically the result is 12,000. i want that formula to show on the screen what i did was include this apostrophe in front here so that the formula can remain the way i have typed it what else are we asked to do Okay, state two precautions taken in performing the task, use it as a data entry. Uh, actually, I'm not going to discuss anything theory, only the practical aspect is what I want to discuss. So this is where I'm going to stop. This is all that we're asked to do. We are not asked to make it bold or change a particular font style or font size. But if you wish, just to verify your job, then go ahead, select all, make everything bold. Probably I uh, give them color. We decide to even come here and select okay this part alone. Click here and choose all borders. This other part down here. Click and choose all borders. Just to give it a little touch. That's all that has been and we have been asked to do for that Microsoft Excel and from what I have done so far for somebody that really know how to use the Microsoft Excel application this should not take you more than 30 minutes to do thank you very much